Maui, the second largest island of the Hawaii archipelago, is known throughout the world as the very definition of a paradise. It has amazing beaches, natural landscapes, well-preserved ecosystems, and tons of outdoor activities that might tempt you to live here for good. In case you haven't heard yet, there was a recent tragedy in Maui last August 2023. A large wildfire, presumably caused by the shortening of power lines, has wreaked havoc and damaged the beautiful whaling village of Lahaina. Fortunately, Maui is recovering well. In the list now presented to you, we'll focus on the best things to do on the island. Number 10. Visit Farms Aside from tourism, Maui's source of economic stability comes from agriculture. You can see it from the different types of farms here, where some are growing crops and produce, while others produce flowers such as lavender. The Ali'i Kula Lavender Farm is home to around 55,000 lavender plants. There are 20 varieties of this summer bloomer, but nine of them can be grown any time of the year. Originally, lavender is not native to Hawaii, but Maui soil is discovered to be perfect for its growth. Helpful Tips Visit in the morning when the air is still cool. This is the time when the fragrance of lavender is at its most intense. Don't miss out on lavender-infused products for souvenirs. Number 9. Visit Maui Ocean Center Maui Ocean Center is often regarded as the Aquarium of Hawaii. This is due to being a sanctuary of different marine life found in the archipelago. It also serves as an institution that educates about the biodiversity and delicate ecosystem of the Pacific Ocean. There's no better place to learn than at the Maui Ocean Center. Helpful Tips Check for updated schedules on the Maui Ocean Center's official website in order to properly plan your visits and optimize your experiences. Make sure to snap pictures in accordance with the center's rules and guidelines. You can show support for the center's cause by purchasing their eco-friendly souvenirs. Number 8. Tour by the Unique Coastal Attractions Given that the island has a volcanic landscape, it has unusual features such as the lava fields of La Parouse Bay. The alteration of the terrain is apparent in the presence of cooled black lava rocks. It may not be advisable to trek the area without added safety, but it's definitely worthy to witness such a unique attraction. Speaking of unique attractions by the coast, the Kapalua Coastal Trail offers something amazing. The Kapalua Beach is already great, but if you walk further along and detour to Makalua Puna Point, you'll arrive at the jaw-dropping Dragon's Tea. It's a coastal rock formation due to the influence of the lava and taking a shape like a line of dragon's fangs. Helpful Tips Make sure to have solid footwear, preferably hiking or adventure shoes, as you visit these unique coastal attractions since they can have sharp rocks. A better way to take pictures is to stay away from dangerous parts of the coastal attractions. You can already admire them from a safe distance anyway. Number 7. Go Whale Watching since Maui is situated at the heart of the Pacific region, it's no surprise that you'll expect whales to show up by the coast. The best location to witness that is at the Au Au Channel. This is where the humpback whales migrate and even breed. For that reason also, it's one of the most protected places in Maui. The whale watching season is between November and May of the following year, with January as the peak month. The winter season is the favorite time of the year for the humpback whales, but given that you're in the tropical island of Hawaii, you won't worry about snow or the cold weather at all as you watch the whales from afar. Helpful Tips If you plan to visit Maui with whale watching as one of the top most priorities, then set your schedule per the whale watching season. Bring cameras with great zoom quality if you want to take pictures or videos. You can also bring binoculars too. Since you'll be observing the whales for a while on a boat, make sure you're prepared against motion sickness. Number 6. Hike Mountainous Trails Maui has some great mountainous trails like the Waihe Ridge Trail, which will lead you to many landscapes of the Waihe Valley, such as lush rainforests and amazing waterfalls. Speaking of waterfalls, the PPY Trail inside the Halea Kala National Park can take you to the Makahiku Falls and the Waimoku Falls. If you're going to hike the top peaks in Maui, you can head to the Pu'u Ula Ula Red Hill of the Halea Kala National Park. At 10,023 feet above sea level, it's the highest point in Maui and also has one of the steepest climbs in the world. You can also opt for a chiller hike at Mauna Kea White Mountain on the nearby Big Island. Helpful Tips Hiking the mountainous trails in Maui is not that easy, and thus you have to be prepared thoroughly. If you don't want the adventure and just expect to witness outstanding views at the summit, 
there are a number of vehicle rentals that you can avail. Be mindful as you go on to hike the trails and summits since the natives regard mountainous areas as sacred locations. Number five, try snorkeling or surfing. It'd be a waste not to try water activities on the shores of Maui. The previously mentioned La Paraus Bay and Kapalua Beach are among the best snorkeling areas. You can even get a chance to swim among the dolphins if you're lucky. If you like swimming with turtles instead, you can opt to snorkel at Turtle Town. But you must not miss out on visiting the gorgeous Molokini Crater. There you can snorkel in their marine sanctuary and appreciate diverse marine life, including various fish species and colorful coral reefs. Another great water activity to try is surfing. Such activity is already part of Maui's way of living. For newbies, the Lahaina South Coastline stretching towards the Ukamehame Beach Park is the best place to try. If you're a casual surfer, you can go for larger waves at Ho'okipa Beach. Helpful Tips Since snorkeling so popular in Maui, you have to book snorkeling tours way ahead of the peak tourist season. When selecting sunscreen, make sure that it's reef safe in order to protect the coral systems. If you want to learn surfing or further improve your knowledge, take time to do solid research for a reputable surf school. Do not overestimate your skills nor underestimate the waves. Pay attention always to your instructor and trust your survival instincts. Number four, drive by the road to Hana. The road to Hana is not just an ordinary coastal highway. The view it offers makes it one of the most spectacular and unique highlights in Hawaii. Just imagine driving through the lush rainforests and passing along the scenic waterfalls, botanical gardens, and hidden beaches. This 64-mile drive is always a must-try every time you're in Maui. Helpful Tips Since the entirety of the highway is a tourist attraction, expect some traffic along the way. There will be numerous tour buses and sightseeing crowds. It'll be best to start your journey early. Research Key stops ahead if you're touring privately. Also, prepare food, essentials, and a full tank of gas since there will be limited services throughout the highway. Number 3. Visit Parks Maui has an abundance of conservatory parks since they protect the natural wonders of the county. The Pu'u Ula Ula or take the PPY Trail where you can witness the Makahiku Falls and the Waimoku Falls. The Lao Valley State Park is also a great place to visit. This park is known for the iconic Lao Needle, which is a lava remnant that has risen 1,200 feet from the valley floor and is covered with rich vegetation. It's also a historic place where the legendary King Kamehameha managed to unite the Hawaiian Islands under his own rule. Helpful Tips If you want to explore the parks, be prepared ahead of the long and challenging roads. The viewing of sunrise can get crowded at peak seasons and therefore it'll be wise to reserve viewing permits in advance. Apply insect repellents, for there can be unwanted organisms along the way. Number 2. Attend a traditional luau A luau is a tradition in Hawaii in which people celebrate the state's history, culture, and cuisine. To put it simply, it's the most distinct form of Hawaiian entertainment, and your visit to Maui will never be complete if you don't attend at least one. Most luaus are celebrated near the shores, and the peak month for that is during May. Helpful Tips since luau's are very popular, slots tend to fill up quite quickly. Make sure to book in advance. Don't worry, there are plenty of luau's all over Maui that you can attend. In order to make the most of your attendance, empty your stomach beforehand since luau's offer a sumptuous feast of Hawaiian cuisine. During hula performances, make sure to act accordingly and show respect. Number 1. Relax on the beach Of course, the top thing to do when you're in Maui is to always relax on the beach. It's a tropical paradise after all, and you have countless resorts to choose from. The popular ones are Waialea Beach, Ka'anapali Beach, and Napili Bay. If you like beaches with opportunities to experience snorkeling or surfing, you can head to Kapalua Beach, Ho'okipa Beach, or Polo Beach. If you like unique beaches, there's the enormous Onaloa Beach near Waialea or the Black Sand Beach at Waianapa Napa Park. Helpful Tips be mindful of the weather conditions. Tropical islands like Maui can also experience harsh weather such as typhoons. Some beaches can get crowded with many tourists from different cultures. Therefore, you need to be mindful of your belongings always. Conclusion With all those things listed, you can say that Maui is undoubtedly a must-visit tourist destination. Everything's amazing, from beaches to volcanic craters. So if you plan to visit Maui, make sure to allot more days in your stay to soak in the greatness of this tropical nirvana. 
Guys, also make sure to watch the best restaurants in Maui as well. See you in the next video.